family, friends, fellow gamers, educators, and students. Welcome to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I am Grumpy Gnome. Let's get our grump on in Fallout Shelter Baby. Here we go. Enter the vault. Oh god, I hope I don't sneeze. I got this problem. If I sneeze, my nose is going to run, and my nose runs, I'm going to have to blow my nose, and all that's going to be on camera. And you guys... Oops. Oh my god! Did we just get another baby? But how, how could that happen if our population cannot go over 200? Let's um let's find out. Dragon's Maw baby. Yep. And Pipers? I'm going to go Heavy Merc. Heavy Merc. Yep. And let's find out what's going on down here. Or you know what? Do yeah, we want to get them leveled up first. So here we go. Clicky. Clicky. Click. 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 I don't see anybody maxed out over here. So it doesn't look like we're sending any of these guys. Well, maxed out would be at the bottom. Oh, here we go. Raise the special stats of... Did we not complete that yet? I don't know. You would think that we would have had that completed already. And let's come over here. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Well... Let I uh, see you and Olivia Hancock. Let's find out. Chichi, we can't start a family. There's no more room in the vault. Okay, so what does that mean with your baby? Is she stuck <laughs> with the baby now? Oh no. Okay, well. I guess the only way to bring this baby in would be to kick somebody out. And that would be sad. But there is a way around that. Um, we can always go out into the field, and if somebody died out there, just don't bring them back in. And that might be the more humane way of doing that. Guardians of the Waste, Rat Scorpions, here we go, baby. Gonna take a little swallow of coffee here. As you guys can tell, it is early o'clock. <sighs> Got another half day assignment today over at Buchanan. Buchanan, you guys are legends. You're you're keeping me busy. Okay, I'm glad to you have my back. You do have my back, right? And um, although I don't prefer half days. It actually is allowing me to do a recording in the morning, set it up for processing while I'm at work, and then in the evening, I can go ahead and upload them. So it's, it's kind of working. Uh, the only problem with half-day assignments are they don't pay anything. I mean... I really can go on a rant about how substitute teachers are not paid their their worth. And that is something that has been frustrating me for for quite a while. A fast food worker or a person who's been at Walmart for more than a couple years probably makes more than a fa than a substitute teacher. Uh, substitute teachers do not get benefits. And to become a substitute teacher, you have to have a four-year degree. So you're already $35,000, $40,000 in debt. And we have to sign papers that holds us accountable by law to certain things. And if we fail to 
say report something that we see, we can actually be fined and imprisoned for that. And bug juice for all my shipmates out there. And I mean, there's, I, I really come up, uh, that should come in handy. Okay. I really came up with a, with quite a list of things that just are unjust for substitute teachers. And um, I really wish somebody, I, I don't know who that person would be that would make any fixes or changes to it. I just wish a substitute teacher would be recognized and actually paid their worth. And if you actually want to do some grumpy math to figure out what the worth of a substitute teacher is, take, take a classroom of 30 students. Figure that you're going to be with those students for seven hours a day and pay that substitute teacher $15 per hour per student. And that is how much an underaged babysitter would be paid to babysit. Now, on top of that, substitute teachers, I'm not going to say they don't because I know there are some of those that actually do nothing but sit at the teacher's desk and play on their cell phones the whole day. But for those of us that actually interact with the students, we um, it would be really great if we would Oh, really? I still got another one. Okay. And you know what? It, it would just be great if we would be worth our pay. And, you know, I think that's really all I've got to say about that. So, there's the reason for starting this channel during COVID because while the teachers got to work through COVID substitute teachers were unemployed and um, I needed something to do to occupy my time and I thought how cool would it be to start a YouTube channel and slowly work up to a possible level of getting monetized and it's no secret sure I would love to be monetized for this as a matter of fact I'll bet you any level of monetization would probably be equal to or more than I'm making as a substitute come on let's get her done and that would almost if I actually got to the point where I was making oops, as much on YouTube as I was, or as, as much as little as I would be making as a substitute teacher, I might even give up substitute teaching and put more effort into videos. And maybe instead of substitute teaching, which one of us is in charge? I like me. Maybe instead of substitute teaching, use the time more wisely and create content for the teacher. Teachers, plural, to use in the classroom. I've already got an idea for... Well, I'm not going to get everybody in here. Let's focus on you guys. There we go. And... One, two, ah, nuts on a biscuit. All right, you got me. You tagged me. There we go. Uh, oh, you're going down, buddy. There we go. And um, 
Yeah, I can I can even see myself doing that. I've got an idea for a book it already that I would like to create and that would be fun for the class. And um you know, it's one of those things where you just tell yourself, "Hey, you know, my my time could be spent more wisely." doing something else so anyway that is wow what's going on here okay my time could be spent more wisely it's just a matter of keep... you got to keep busy you got to do something so you know what I think that I'm going to end my rant right here there there we ended the ramp before they actually finished the building and there we got everybody you know what bring them down no bring them up that's what i want and you're going down and now they're all gonna get him wow that that's a mighty strong ghoul there but we got you I hate this place. Okay. Yeah. And is that it? Oh, we got to come over. You know, I think we have to go up also in this one. So let's go ahead and knock this out. And I'm going to get you. Yes, I am. Oof. And they're down. You know what? We should probably look at our our objectives. <laughs> you as completely creeped out as I am? This one seems to be a longer... Oh my god, Death Claws. Here we go. It is on. It is on like Donkey Kong. Who's going down? Oh, here we go. One, two... Oh, yes. That helped. That helped a bunches. Okay. Are you going to need healing? Yes, you are. Here we go. Cha-ching. And here we go. One, two. Oh, nuts. You know what? Good enough. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. I think that's it. Now, yes, we are going up. And as they're going up, we'll do a quick shiny check. And look at that right there. And there's their return trip ticket. Oh, that worked well. Take another swallow of coffee. Got a very interesting cup of coffee going. So, oh, nothing in here? Nope. Nope, nothing. My body aches all over. Yeah, mine does too. So, come up to here. So, I'm a morning person. And my morning starts at 4 o'clock every morning. Which doesn't bother me. And I get up, I make coffee, I make breakfast for my wife and daughter. To get them on the road so they can go to work at a school as a teacher and as a para. So, the thing is, they have to commute. So, they go quite a distance. And then... Do, do, do. So, this morning... My daughter had a cup of Earl Grey tea with cream and honey in it, which is the way I love my tea, because I'm an Earl Grey fan, and I love cream and honey in my tea. But it's, it's more efficient to just make a pot of coffee and have a pot of coffee with the, uh, with the mama. So... Daughter doesn't drink coffee, so she gets tea. Where am I going with this? Well, because she had to leave, 
she left some of her tea behind. And you can guess that, yeah, we already know about the baby, but there's nothing we can do about it. Reach now. Come on home. I wonder if the baby's going to come out and one of these guys are not going to be allowed to come in. That would kind of suck in a kind of sucky kind of way. But let's find out how the game is going to deal with that. Anyway, so what I did was I transferred my daughter's tea into a traveling mug. And because... One, two, I see three coming in. And because... Yep, still got baby. And, well, let's find out what else is going on out here in the waste. You're exploring, which is good. 22 still. That's good. Wow. Okay, well, that's one day. Uh, 18, 19, 21, 20, 20, 21, 18, 24, 21. Wow, these are good numbers. 13. Oh, but she's been out for two days and 22 hours. Yeah, so Andrea, you're doing well, too. Awesome. 22 people are running around out here. 12. Okay, but you're just about ready to end your trip, so you're over 10. You're over 10. You're over 10. You are going to have a problem. Unless you come home quick, you might have a problem. You are borderline. Actually, you're getting ready to hit the three-day mark out here. And I wonder if at three days they, they reach their capacity. You're freaking styling. So there's where we figured out what we can do with our damage-resistant people. And you're on your way home. Wow, check it out. This. I don't know how that happened. But that was interesting. Anyway, keep going. 21, you're on your... Sally Switchblade's coming home. She's only been out for 18... You know what, though? Because of the I find additional stuff, she probably got to come home early because she was already loaded up. And I think this is the same thing going on here. One day and you only have eight left. That's not a good number to work with. Well, I have a feeling that tonight's going to be a good night. Now, I really have a feeling that we're probably going to have to. That we should have gotten another mole rat one here. What are our objectives? Uh, survive feral ghoul attacks with no cat. You know, that's taking longer than we really thought it would. Raise the special stats of 35 dwellers. I'm almost thinking that this has got to be new dwellers that go in there. In which case, we're never going to get this. Because we're never going to have more dwellers coming in. And then complete eight quests discovered in the wasteland. You thought we would have already had eight quests. So I don't know what's going on with that either. And there goes Mr. Creepy. Well, the only other thing I can probably conclude right now is that we should get an overseer team put together. And it looks like we've got some legendary stuff coming in here. Duo of Destruction. Okay, we can do this. Ah, uh, nuts. We didn't heal them again before we brought them in. Anyway. Yeah, look at this. Ah, uh, nuts on a biscuit. Well, Confessor, you're one of them. Arthur de Playa and Roy de Playa. I guess you guys are going to be our designated runners. 25, 25, and you know what? Uh, go get them. Start quest. If we were to actually build out this vault, I 
I may or may not <laughs> have doubled up the training rooms, but we never really seem to have enough people to go in all of them. So I don't know how that's going to work. The only other thing we can really do is see if we can craft anything. So let's do the craft. We'll do the flippy thing. And there's Dragon's Maw, baby. And can you guys give us a Dragon's Maw too? Let's do the flippy thing. No, no more Dragon's Maws. But we can do Lead Belchers. And the Lead Belcher is probably the next best item for inside the, um, the vault. Do the flippy thing here. There's another lead belcher. We'll take it. And what can what can you give us? Uh, do the flippy thing. There's another lead belcher. And what about you guys? Do the flippy thing. And another lead belcher. Now I wonder if everybody has the uh, who's dancing uh, nuts did we miss them already we missed them doggone it okay doesn't matter not I d I'm gonna try not to get distracted by that so let's go ahead and see if everybody here has commander seven yes and Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. And... Yep. So that worked out well. Are they dancing again? Oh, oh, yes. Give me a bottle. Give me... Oh, come on. <sighs> Ugh. Okay. Now I'm frustrated. Now I got my grump on. I'm not even going to look anymore because we don't really need it. That's right. We don't need it. I'm just checking to make sure everybody's got a Commander 7. Because if everybody's got a Commander 7... Ooh, look at this. Stats. Ching, there you go. What, you, what do you got? Commander 7. Commander 5. Guess what? You've just been upgraded. And, oh my god, they've just got plasma rifles here. Oh, we need to fix that. Lead belchers. Boom. And you know what? I didn't even do that. Oh, you got a dragon's maw? I think we're going to go lead belcher until we can actually give everybody. Uh-oh. Are we out of lead belchers? That sucks in a sucks kind of way. Well, Charlotte, <laughs> should we give Charlotte a missile launcher? Um, or a dragon's maw? I'll give her a dragon's maw. What the heck? And what do you got? You've got a dragon's maw. And you're going to get a dragon's maw. And you, we've already switched that. And you've got a lead belcher. And you are going to get... You know what? You're getting a missile launcher, dude. There we go. And I should probably, you know what? Maybe give one person in this room a missile launcher. Didn't even check their weapons. Dragon's Maw. Dragon's Maw. Oh my god, this 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 team is is decked out. Oh my god, somebody found something. Oh, wow, another Dragon's Maw. So we're going to have a little holy nuts. Yeah, we're going to dare dare those enemies to come in down. Oh, look at this. I wonder if that's the lead belcher they're making. Oh my gosh, everybody there has dragon's maws. Cool. 
Let's do this. Who found what? Sean Price discovered a red rocket truck stop. Let's go in and do it. It would really be sad if there was a dweller in here, though. Eliminate the raider. Gas and go. Oh, he must be one of our new guys leveling up out here. Okay, that's cool. Red rocket. Yum. There's our thumbnail. Curses. There's nothing here. You there from a vault, ain't you? Oh, tell me some. Oh, my God. What are we supposed to tell him? I'm just here for the loot. Can I get unleaded? Number two. Sorry, my vault is all full. Oh, my gosh. Dog got it. Well, let's give him the. Oh, wow. It's a raider, too. I thought. Sorry, my. Oh, my gosh. We could have rescued somebody. It'll be him. Oh, wow. This is not a nice way to react to that. You go, kitty cat. You go tell this raider. And she's got the crumpton sword on. Yes. Oh, man. Oof. Well, somehow I think we're getting the better of this fight. Ooh. That hurt. And one more. Pum, ow! Boom, you're down. Okay, and the vault needs a massage therapist. So my, <laughs> so much tension in my shoulders. Well, there, that would almost be a return tip ticket, but let's see, we don't have, oh, look at that. How's that for a thumbnail? That'd be kind of cool. Of course, the lettering would go up on top. Anyway, let's, you know what? While we can do it, Let's get you healed. And now let's send them back out. Continue. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, continue. Yes. I think I need backup. Um, okay. What is going on here? I don't get it. Did we reach a bug? Oh, wow, that was interesting. Okay, return. That was scary. But Sean Price is back out into the wasteland. And there's that baby again. Oof. Okay, close it. And what were we doing here? Oh, we were just making sure that everybody had a Commander 7 that's working in these rooms. So let's go here. And what do you got? That's interesting. Is that like a vengeance gun? Commander 7. And you do have vengeance, which is kind of cool. We'll let you keep vengeance in the back there. Nope, we got to get rid of that. So let's see. What, what can we up? Wow, there's really not much to upgrade them to. We lost all of our good weapons. Well, that sucks. Mr. Creepy, we're not going to find him because we don't know how to. Miss, and there he goes. Gosh darn it. I don't know if it's just me or what. Okay, what do you got? You got a lead belcher and a commander seven. What do you got? You got a lead belcher and a commander seven. What do you got? You've got a lead belcher and a commander seven. Cool. Good. And you got vengeance. In the back, a dragon's maw for the lady. Um, if I'm allowed to say that, I don't know. Yep. This little Mario looking guy. Oh, wow. And he's got a Commander 7. This little dude over here. He's got a Commander 7. And score. Everybody is where they should be. Now, you guys are all making stuff. Let's see what kind of outfits we can make. 
Oh, you know what? I don't think they need their outfits anymore because I think everything we're making is an A outfit unless we need to make something different. So you're crafting. You guys are not. Let's do the flippy thing. There we go. We can do... We don't need those anymore. Wow, no pipers. Heavy combat. No pipers and no heavy merc. And I wish somebody can tell me which one of these power armors is actually the best. Because for some reason, the, the other gamers of Fallout Shelter seem to <laughs> agree that one of the power armors is one of the best in the game. And I can't figure out which one. So, so help out, help a player in his need. There's a plus seven, but it's all for the wrong things. Okay. We were doing this one for a while, but no. All right. Well, guys, I've got a feeling that that is going to be the end of this episode. Uh, we're going to see what happens with Todd Lord out in the wasteland. If he actually survives. And if he doesn't, maybe we'll go ahead and bring the new baby into the world. And we will raise the baby until we reach the... Um... Here comes Happy and Crappy. We're not going to deal with them, though. And we'll raise the baby until we hit the um, 150th. You know what? Maybe we'll cut it at 245. What is this? This is 243. Yeah, if we have two more episodes like this, I think we're going to cut it and uh, call that the, um, the season or the end of Vault 001. And as you can tell, we... We have a successful vault. Of course, things might have been a lot different. I don't think the the interior of the vault would change the game much. But if we were actually to not revive any of our fallen dwellers, then this game would be completely different. And that's probably going to be the challenge for Vault 002. With that said, if you like this adventure, give me a like. If you didn't like it, give me a sympathy like anyway. Oh, I see you. Give me a bottle. Give me a bottle. No, nope, we got caps. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you do subscribe, please tell 10 people and have them subscribe. If you don't know 10 people, tell 5 people twice. If you don't know 5 people, oh my gosh. Um, take your dog for a walk and talk to people you meet along the way. <laughs> And have them subscribe. I'm Grumpy Gnome. I'm out of here. Five, four, three, two, one. Take care. Bye bye.